Okay, new unit. This is all about exponents. Now these first three are easy. Okay, evaluate four to the third. Now we all know how an exponent works. It's four times four times four. The product is 64. Now one fourth to the third power. That would be one fourth times one fourth times one fourth. Now multiplying fractions is not rocket science. You just multiply the ones and multiply the fours. So one times one times one is one. Four times four times four is 64. Okay, negative 5 to the third power, so that would be negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, okay? That product is negative 125. When you have an odd number of negative factors in a multiplication problem, the product's going to be negative. Okay, negative 4 to the fourth power, so you got negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, so that's an that product's going to be 16. Now you're like, how is that 16 and not negative 16? Well, up here is an odd number of negative factors. Okay? Here's an even number of negative factors. So when I multiply an even number of negative factors, the product's positive. Okay, now there are some properties you need to know for these because you're going to be doing variables and exponents. You've got x to the third times x to the fourth. Now we can't evaluate the exponents because we don't have a number for x and we're not going to have one either. But you can simplify it. Here's what you do. You have two base x's. You're going to combine it into one base x and on a multiplication problem you can just add the exponents, not multiply. Okay, 3 plus 4 is 7, so x to the 7th is the answer. Now you're like, why are you adding them? Well, here's why. x to the 3rd would mean x times x times x. And then we have a times dot. Then x to the 4th would mean x times x times x times x. How many factors of x is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's why it's x to the 7th. Now, here's another property you need to know today. x to the third power, and then we have a fourth power outside. What you do is you write your x down, and when you have a power inside of parentheses and a power outside, you run distribution times. 3 times 4 is 12. Now, you're like, why is that that? Well, here's why. x to the third I'm going to write four factors of x to the third, because a fourth power would mean there's four of the factors. Now, you're not going to be doing this as you work the problems, because you have an easier way. Then all these x to the thirds means x times x times x, times x times x times x, times x times x times x times x times x times x. All together told, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 factors of x, so x to the twelfth. Okay, so let's run through those rules again. If I have two base x's, I combine it into one base on a multiplication problem simply by adding the powers. 5 plus 10 is 15. So it's x to the 15th power. Now if I have a base x with a power in a parentheses, but there's a power outside, we do distribution. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so that's really all that is. Now, I'd like to tell you it's that easy, but it's not, okay? you got expressions you're going to simplify. Now, first, I want you to put operators. x to the 7th, when it's an exponent, it already has an operation. Don't be putting a times dot between the base and its exponent, okay? You leave that alone. Times 5, between 5 and x is a times, and between x and 8, that's the exponent. So I don't put anything between there. Now make two lines on today's assignment. Eventually we're going to make that into three, but for today you need two. Write down your bases. That means the, no, the stuff without, if these exponents were out of the problem, the seven and the eight, what bases would you have? Well, for numbers you'd have five. Put that down first, and then put a times dot. For letters you have x. Now there's two of them, but we're going to make it into just one of them. Okay. Now we put what the powers are. So 5 is to the first power. 
put a one there, please. If it doesn't have a power, you're going to put a one. So everything will have a power. And if it's not there, we put a one. Okay. You want the power there. So five is to the one. Okay. It's not in a parentheses, so it will stay to the one. Now there are two x's. So remember how we're going to combine it. We're going to add seven and eight. So seven plus eight is fifteen. Now on the other part, you just simply evaluate what you can. Well, I can figure out what 5 to the first power is. That's just 5. But I cannot figure out what x to the 15th power is because I don't have a number for x. So that will remain x to the power of 15, and that's your answer. So if you make those two lines, you'll end up with your answer there. Simplify. You're not solving for x, okay? Okay, next problem, between 3 and x is multiplication, and that's an exponent, that's an exponent, and we have times 4 and x is multiplication, and that's an exponent. So make your two lines. Now if I took all the little exponent numbers out, what numbers, big number bases would you have? You'd have a 3 and a 4. You want to put those kind of to, at, at the beginning. Then what variables or letters do you have? You have two x's, but again, we're going to combine it into one x. So three. Now, put a first power on your three. Please do that, okay? And also on the four. So everything's got a power. Now, you're not going to put a one on the three, and here's why. The three to the first is in a parentheses, okay? The three to the first is in a parentheses, so what you need to do is you need to distribute your 2 to the 1, okay? So 2 times 1 is 2, so it's going to be 3 to the second power. Now let's talk about the 4. Now the 4 has an exponent of 1, but it also is in a parentheses, so I need to distribute the outside exponent to the inside. 4 times 1 is 4, so the 4 will be to the fourth power. Now x, now we have two base x's, x to the third and then the, and x to the second. So we're going to add the exponents together, but both of them are in parentheses, so we have to distribute. So you're going to distribute the 2 to the 3, okay? So 2 times 3 is 6, so you will be placing a 6 right there. And then for our other x, it's to a 2, but that's also in parentheses, so 4 times 2 is 8. If it's in a parentheses, you have to distribute the exponents from the outside. So 6 plus 8 gives us 14. Okay. So I have 3 to the 2nd times 4 to the 4th times x to the 14th. Now I can evaluate 3 to the 2nd. 3 times 3 is 9. Okay. And I, so I put 9 down. And I can also evaluate 4 to the 4th. That's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. That equals 256. Okay. And then the x to the 14th, I can't evaluate that. So I just leave that as x to the 14th. Now, I, multi I need to multiply these two at the beginning. Okay. You need to take 9 multiplied by 256, and that's 2,304. So if you have two big bases like that, you will need to multiply them. So that's the answer. Okay? You can just circle it right there. Okay, my next problem. We have a parentheses. 6x to the second, and then the parentheses closes. We have a third power outside of there. Times. Now in the second parentheses, we have 5x to the second. Okay? And then the parentheses closes. We have a 2. So, remember, put your operator 6 times x and then x to the second, then the third. 5 times x. Don't put times dots between the base and the exponent. Don't do that. So you make two lines. Now, ignoring the exponents, what are my numerical, my number bases? Well, I have a 6 and a 5. Okay, so I put 6 times 5. Remember, it's all multiplication, so you can rewrite it in any order you feel like. Then for variables, I just have x. Okay. So let's talk about our 6. It's to the first power, to the first power, and is it in a parentheses? It is, so you need to distribute 3 to 1, and that's 3, so it's 6 to the third. Now let's talk about our 5. 
This is my 5, it's to a first power. And is it in parentheses? Yes, it is. So we need to distribute the 1 to the 2 from the outside. 1 times 2 is 2, so 5 to the second. Now as far as the x's goes, there's two of them. If there's two of them, you want to add them so you combine them into one. So we have this x here. It's to the second. Is it in parentheses? Yes. So it also needs to be distributed to the three. So two times three is six. Now the other x, it's to the second. Okay. Is it in parentheses? Yes, it is. So that also needs to be distributed to our outside power of two. So two times two is four. So 6 plus 4 is 10. Now, 6 to the third can be evaluated. 6 times 6 times 6, that equals 216. And then 5 to the second can be evaluated. That's 5 times 5, and that would equal 25 as a product. And then the base, x to the tenth, cannot be evaluated because it's a variable, not a number. So we need to now multiply the 216 by the 25, and I got 5,400. So 5,400 times x to the tenth. There's your answer. Okay, next problem. In a parentheses, we have x to the third. Outside of the parentheses, we have a second power times... 4x to the 6th, no parentheses, 4x to the 6th, okay? So, make your lines. So, exponent, exponent, times, and then a times there. So, really the only number base I have is 4. And variable bases I have x. But remember, there are two x's, so we're going to add them. Multiplying two x's means we add the powers. Now I just got to figure out what the powers are. So 4 is to the first. Now is there a parentheses around the 4 to the first? There's not, so we don't distribute. We just put a 1. Now x, let's go with the x on the left first. It's to the third. It's in a parentheses, so we have to distribute the 3 to the 2. Find that product, 3 times 2, and that's 6. Then the other x is to the 6, but it's not in a parentheses, so that is just to the 6th. And 6 plus 6 is 12. Okay. Now 4 to the 1st is 4 times x to the power of 12. Okay, we've got 5 more. I have in a parentheses negative 3x to the 3rd. And then after the parentheses is closed, we have the second power times 4x to the 6th. So in a parentheses, negative 3x to the 3rd, and then a second, and then times 4x to the 6th. So make your lines. Now put your operators in. 3 times x, x to the, remember, don't put operations between the exponents. 4 times x. So I have two number bases. I have a negative 3 and a 4. Now, when you have a negative base, you want to put that in a parentheses, okay? You also have a 4. And then for variable bases, we have x. Now, we have two of them, so that means I'll just put a plus sign and combine the exponents. So negative 3 is to the first. If it doesn't have 1, it's to the first, but it is in a parentheses, so we don't want to put 1 down. We've got to distribute 1 to 2, and that would be 2. Now 4, 4 is to the first, and that is not in a parentheses, so we don't distribute anything. We just put a 1 down. Now as far as x goes, well, we've got this x to the third, but that's in a parentheses, so we distribute a 3 to the 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, and this x here would be to the 6 as well. So 6 plus 6 is 12, okay? That's x to the 12th. Now, negative 3 to the second, I can evaluate that. That would be 9. 4 to the first is just 4. And then x to the 12th cannot be evaluated. That would just remain. Now, we need to find the product of 9 and 4. Don't just leave that unmultiplied. 9 times 4 is 36. So it's 36 x to the 12th. Okay, next problem. In a parentheses, I have negative 2, x to the third, y to the second, 
and that's the end of the parentheses, then we have a third power out there times x to the sixth. So, put your operators in, it's all multiplication. Remember, don't put a times dot between the base and the exponent. Don't do that. Okay? 3, 2, 3, 6, those are powers. Number bases, you just have the negative 2. Please put a parenthesis around it. Variable bases, you have x. Now you have two of them, so you'll combine the exponents. And you also have a variable of y, so you need to put a y. You just have one of the y bases, so there'll be no plus there. So negative 2, it's to the first, but it's in a parenthesis, so we need to take the 1 times the 3, and that would be 3. Then x, remember we're adding, so from the left, the x to the third, but that's in parentheses, so you take 3 times 3, that would be 9, okay? 3 times 3, that's a 3 there. And then the other x is to the six, not in a parentheses, so that's just 9 plus 6, which is 15, okay? Now, the base of y. We have a y right there. It's to the second, but that 2 is in a parenthesis, so we take the 2 times the 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. So we have negative 2 to the third times x to the 15th times y to the 6th. Now, we can evaluate the negative 2 to the third. And that gives me a negative product because it's an odd number of negatives, negative 8. then x to the 15th, and then y to the 6th. That's simplified. Okay, next one. In a parentheses, we have w to the 3rd, and then outside the parentheses, you have a 2nd. Times, parentheses, 4w to the 2nd, parentheses, closed, to the 3rd. So, 4w would be times, the rest of it's just all exponents. Okay, So for number bases, you have 4. For variable bases, you have w, you have 2 of them, so we'll combine those. So the base 4 is to the first power, but it's in a parentheses, so we need to multiply the 1 times the 3 that's out there. 1 times 3 is 3, so it would be 4 to the third power. Now there are two base w's, so the w on the left, it's to the third, but it's in a parenthesis, so we distribute 2 to 3. That's 6. Okay, now, the other w's to the second, that's in a parenthesis, and we distribute 3 to 2, and that's also 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. So 4 to the third gets evaluated. 4 times 4 times 4, and that equals 64. W to the twelfth cannot be evaluated. Okay, and that's it. Okay, next problem. Two more left in this video. We've got a parentheses with negative two end of the second, and then the parentheses is closed to the third power times n to the sixth power. Okay. So again, negative two end of the third closed to the third times n to the sixth. Now, put a times dot. So number bases, you have negative 2. If it's a negative, you want to put it in a parenthesis. That's your only number base. Your variable bases are n. Now, there's two of them, but again, we have that way where we combine them by adding if it's multiplication, which it is all on this assignment. Okay, okay so negative 2, it's to the 1, but it's in parentheses, so the 1 has to be multiplied by 3 to find the true exponent. So it's 3. Now, n, take the n on the left, it's to the second. We have a third out there, so 2 times 3 is 6. And the other n is not in parentheses, so we just take the given exponent, 6. So 6 plus 6 is 12. So negative 2 to the third gets evaluated. And that's negative 8, okay? n to the 12th cannot be evaluated, that's n to the 12th. Okay, our last problem here today. In parentheses, we have negative 4, a to the second, b to the third. In a parentheses, parentheses, negative 4, a to the second, b to the third, close parentheses to the second, times 
parentheses 12, a to the fourth, b to the fifth, close parentheses to the second. So 4 and a's multiplication, a and b's multiplication. When I put these operators in, I just don't look at the exponents, okay? Okay, number bases, we have two. We have a negative 4 and a 12. All the other numbers are exponents. The bases are negative 4 and 12. So I put a negative 4 in parentheses times a 12. Now variables, we have an a. We have two a's, which we will be combining through adding. That's a plus sign I'm putting there. And also we have two b's. So that'll be a b that get combined by adding. So let's talk about our negative 4. Well, it's to the first power, but it is in a parentheses, so I take 1 times 2. That's 2. I have a 12. It's 12 to the first. That's in a parentheses, so we take the 1 times the 2. You're always take, distributing it to the outside, so 1 times 2 is 2, so that will give us 12 to the second. Now, A. Find the A on the left. It's to the second, but it's in parentheses, so we take 2 times 2. So that A is to the fourth. And the other a is to the fourth, and I take 4 times 2, and that's 8. So 8 plus 4 is 12, so the a ends up to the 12th power. Now the b, there's two b factors, okay? So to the third, but it's in parentheses, so we take 3 times 2, that's 6. And then 5 times 2 is 10, so 6 plus 10 is 16. Now, you can evaluate the negative 4 to the second by taking negative 4 times negative 4. That would be 16, positive. 12 to the second, that would be 12 times 12, and that would be 144. Now, I can't evaluate a to the 12th. That just stays a to the 12th, and likewise with the b to the 16th. That would just stay b to the 16th. Now, don't forget to find the product here. Okay. Do not leave those big numbers unmultiplied because you can take 16 times 144 and I got 2,304. Okay, and that's the answer, 2,304 times A to the 12th times B to the 16th.